Hey tubers, welcome back for another adventure. So you're looking at my latest piece of lawn art. My wife refers to it as dookie because it died right here. I don't know if you guys remember when it uh when it stopped running it, it started to ping I'm thinking that the carburetor needs to be taken off cleaned up and uh, make sure the jets are all clear make sure it's ready to go I didn't do that when I got this started the reason why is it started too easy I thought I beat the wrap obviously I did not so let's get this off Easy enough to do. Phelps head right there. Phelps head right here. Hopefully that slides out of the way. It comes off. Then hopefully the cables pop right off and we'll have this off in the next five minutes or so. Carburetor is out. Keevan. <laughs> uh, and I keep saying that wrong. I apologize for that. And constant velocity. And... There is gas in it, so I don't think it had a gas flow problem. I think it's got a clogged up jet problem. Let's uh, go take a look. Nice clean platform to work on. So we want to break into this constant velocity carburetor. Right, not hard to do. I pre-loosened all this stuff. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I drained the gas out of it. I'm going to use the word drained. The gas kind of spilled out of it while I was removing it from the uh, UTV. So I wasn't able to look at the gas to see if there was water in it. By the way, somebody's been into this carb before I was. And you could kind of tell a few things. First of all, this cover <clears throat> is missing um, the choke, right? This is where that plunger slides in and out. Um, that also was um, loose. So, anyway, the bowl is off. And if you take a quick look here, it is not only clean, like you could, you can eat off of it in there. I mean, it is crazy clean. So, I don't know. This thing supposedly had not been run for a while. Um, you wonder if, if there wasn't, wasn't water perhaps in there. A half an inch of water, which wouldn't be much, like three thimble folds would have been enough to kind of start um, bothering these things. Anyway, I'm going to take these out. We'll take a quick look at them, make sure there's nothing going on here. That's the main jet. See those four holes? And that's two more. And then the main bore. So this carburetor is not only clean, this is the idle. Um, it is, it is very clean. <sighs> Makes you want, not want to mess with it. Anyway, I don't know if there was water in there or not, so we'll put it together, back together, and put it on. Oh, one other quick trick. These hoses were hanging off of here. I normally take those off, because it seems that when you move the body of the carburetor around, um, those hoses like to take these things and go, and flick them to where you're never going to find them. So anyway, I'm just going to smash this back together again. It it looks good. It doesn't look like it needs any messing around work. Check it out. We installed the key switch. Um, I brought one of those portable lithium-ion jump packs, which appears to be dead so I gotta go get a jump pack but the carburetor is in I just 
to see if there's water in the fuel. I have the fuel pump is going to pump fuel into that little little bottle there. Hopefully you guys could see it. And I'm going to hook this up on a remote uh, fuel supply. That way I know there's no water. If she fires right up, that means I had a carburetor half filled with water. And if it doesn't, now i got to start sniffing around. It was one of three things, right? Carburetor, which we're almost done messing with. Um, ignition. Or engine <laughs> has an issue like it sucked a valve or something um i don't think it did that it still seems to have compression so it's either ignition or carburation i'm hoping to get away easy with carburation okay try number two let's hope it starts i'm almost out of daylight Well, <laughs> that isn't good. Um, I gave it a hoot of starting fluid. It didn't even try to start. You can hear it sounds like it's got compression. I'm thinking the spark jumped over the side. I got to call it quits for tonight. It's uh, getting cold and uh, dark. So we'll give it another try tomorrow. I don't know if you could see it or hear it, but the snow and hail has just begun anyway I installed the portable CDI pack there you go you guys can see the gas tank my uh, battery pack I just charged that up I let it float charge for a while if this thing doesn't start old Harvey here is kind of in trouble well we got dashboard Nothing is obviously wrong there. Let's try it without choke to begin. Well, seems like it, uh... like I had something and then it uh I lost it come on so I changed the plug I tightened up where the uh, jump box goes on to the battery and a couple of other things let's hope for the best or this thing is dead Well, I can start it in gear, so let's start it in low. So it appears 
appears as if I lost spark. You guys can see it's snowing all over my face. Yeah, I got this Mickey Mouse gas tank going on here. Might not be the happiest with that. So, the air cleaner's off at this point, too. The battery's not charging. I have those cables disconnected. But, neutral. Fussy. Um, this has been my experience with these uh, Chinese guys. They they seem to lot of, need a lot of tinkering, a lot of love to be uh, successful and to function properly. And that's the reason why shops hate to work on these things, because. Even if they get it in for free, somebody just drops it off and gives it to them. Now they got to get it running. And once they get it running, <laughs> um, you know, people buy something, they kind of expect it to keep running. So you could just imagine how frequently this thing would be back in the shop. Anyway, um, we're going to keep chipping away at it. That's all you could do with these these China wonders you chip away at them a little bit at a time we're supposed to get like four inches of snow where I live you guys can see it's already starting to stick right there um, hopefully this is not that big a deal my I, I got some appointments for tomorrow so hopefully we could get all of this figured out I do want to get this covered though because I'd uh, rather not fill it with snow in here. Anyway, I really, really want to thank you guys for uh, joining me for this. I kind of like putting out some of these videos where things don't just fix, right? Some of these, I'm sure you guys look at it and go, yeah, you already fixed it, and now you're just making a video. No, <laughs> sometimes it goes easy, and sometimes it goes hard. Sometimes the prom queen says yes, and sometimes your own dog bites you first thing in the morning and draws blood. You know, <laughs> you win some and you lose most. So, you take wins wherever you can. Anyway, I want to thank you all for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe. Please remember, feet down, heads up, and get out and enjoy each and every day. Bye now.